Welcome to the Savage Nation. I don't know what to say to you tonight. It's a very dark day in the Savage Nation for a number of reasons. Theodore Trueheart crossed the Rainbow Bridge at 1.17 p.m. I mean, we decided to do it. He wasn't in pain, but he was no longer functional. His legs didn't work. Couldn't stand. And uh, tomorrow will be the memorial podcast. Theodore Trueheart, who was an integral member of the Savage Nation all these years, will no longer be with us except in spirit. But truthfully, folks, it's the end of an era. The end of a long, long era. We had so much hope in the beginning, didn't we? And look where we are today. Shall I not go into the politics of today when the vermin on the left, the communists, have taken over the country using that senile old bastard as a stooge with the most vicious scum the planet has ever seen running the nation? But then again, I guess I should be uh, focused only on Theodore Trueheart, which tomorrow, as I say... I mean, I could do a whole podcast on what happened with the running over the Christmas people by the Black Lives Matter f- fanatic piece of shit. Did you notice how vermin like Andy Cooper dropped the story already and switched to another black victim? Oh, you didn't notice that, huh? Well, Teddy noticed it. Teddy saw everything. Maybe that's why he decided to go. Couldn't take another day of this shit. Pardon me for being vulgar. Maybe it should be edited out. How much can you take when you see a naked communist dictatorship emerging and you have a senile bastard who doesn't even know what's going on around them, run by the most vicious, evil creatures and the vermin in the media like Andy Cooper? Are you joking? I blame the Christmas massacre on Anderson Cooper and the others. They stirred up the halfwits and the psychopaths to do things like this with the lies, the big lies, over and over and over again. So again, I'm just notifying you that our mascot is gone. There was a debate in the household as to whether to bury him tomorrow or cremate him. I was on the burial side and he lived uh, with us in his little bed after he was euthanized for hours until he was taken away to be turned into dust. I hope America is not like my dog Teddy to be euthanized by Joe Biden, the senile, and those around him, like the cackler and the apologists and the enablers like Anderson Cooper. And you know why I focus on Anderson Cooper? I'll tell you why. He is perhaps the most phony of them all. He hides behind those empty glasses. He makes believe he's got an intellect when he has nothing. He was born as a rich kid, the daughter of the son of a Vanderbilt, with a silver spoon in his mouth and like all the other phony liberal whites who make believe they're down with the black radicals. He's the worst of them all. Does he think he will be immune? Does he think that the baster baby that him and his wife created will be immune from the hatred he is fostering against white boys? You want naked truth? You're going to get naked truth. If I get banned, I get banned. I get shadow blocked anyway on this site, so what's the difference? They have these third world idiots shadow banning people like me. That's what America media has become. Either they're far left fanatics or shadow banned by third worlders who have no concept of the First Amendment. They come from despotic third world uh, nations hired by the Twitter and Facebook demons. So Teddy says goodbye tonight. And uh, I've had a few drinks to him. We'll remember him like this. Name is Theodore Trueheart. That is, that is his name. And tomorrow is a day devoted to him. I know the world is in a strategic mess on every level. 
whether it's China firing a nuclear ballistic missile into space, and this dumb bastard tells us about race, racism. I, I've never seen anything like this. I don't know how the country can survive this. I don't know if it will. But Teddy knows what's going on. He sat under my desk for 15 of his years, listening to every show with a far higher intelligence than most, than most of the people working for Biden. Certainly smarter than Anderson Cooper, even though he doesn't wear fake glasses. And here we are, a Christmas massacre swept aside by the vermin on CNN. A Christmas massacre caused by MSNBC and the major media who have made up so many lies about Rittenhouse that eventually a half-wit black radical, a half-witted black radical criminal bastard went crazy and ran down people, saluted by those in the media who have swept it off the front page, never even reporting it. How does America survive this? Where is the patent that we need? Where is the man or woman that we need to save this nation? I ask you, O oh, Teddy, answer me from heaven. Illegitimai non cabarundum, don't let the bastards grind you down. It's a fake statement from ancient Rome. But as I say, Anderson Cooper, this is to you, you piece of garbage. Don't, we'll not let bastards like you grind us down. Tomorrow is a dedicated day. I mean, I have other topics. I interviewed a top doctor on the vaccine dangers, on the dangers of COVID vaccines. She's a wonderful person. She taught me things that I didn't know. And she also talked about uh, the scam, the hospital scam. If you knew how much money hospitals and doctors are making because of criminals like Fauci, your hair would stand up. And she's not anti-vaccine. She's just anti-mRNA experimental vaccines. Get it? So think of Theodore Trueheart, the truest friend the savage nation has ever known. Good night, and may God bless America. I'm Michael Savage. Look forward to tomorrow's podcast, which is Teddy Crosses the Rainbow Bridge. Thank you very much for your loyal support.